So Wowhead of Datamind, if you uh, whip in-game cutscenes that play at the start of the Zareth Mortis campaign, including the reforging of the Arbiter's Sigil and subsequent opening of the portal Zareth Mortis inside the Arbiter's Chambers, a quick dash through the portal while escaping the Jailer's Mossworn forces, a scene of dominated Anduin subduing an NPC called the Oracle, transforming them into a Mossworn, after which the Jailer himself turns into a ball of death and whisks away to the Sepulchre in search of secrets. And we actually have a list of the in-game cutscenes here. We've got Portal of the Primus, Run for the Portal, Deactivating, the Forge of Afterlives, uh, Draven Plummets, Mutated Worldbreaker, Entrance, Introducing, Poca oh, the Companion, Poca -poc um, Caesura, whatever, Awakens. Haven spawns return? <laughs> what? Scissor awakens, likely mistagged as 10.0, because that's 10 underscore ZM. <laughs> Whoops. There you go, they put it in. Yep. Uh, let's see, we got Jailer appears. So, yeah, I mean, a whole. <laughs> Palagos becomes. Hmm. <laughs> becomes what? Orbos Pelagos. Hmm. <laughs> we all know what's going to happen with yeah. Pelagos, but. What do you think? Should we should we go through these? Take a look. Um, yeah, go for it. Is is there much? Because I can't uh, skim through them. It's not a great deal. I mean, they're only like a bit long, so work away. So I, I don't know. Will, will this audio blow people's ears out? Uh, no, not if you keep it around half. Should be okay. Or not even piping it through to them. So. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you don't get audio. Hang on, I can give everyone yep. audio. Uh, there's two of them. Ah, uh, either should work. Maybe both. Voice should. still no. sings within a blessed be her I asked voice. For full screen. That would make sense. Manif just manifest the signal. Are you, uh, the sigil? sigil. Yeah. Job done. Together we will remake the Arbiter Sigil. You can do that. Yeah, man. Pog. Boom. There you go. Nice. This. This is all. Is purpose. Our Not our capitalized. <gasps> hmm. Ah! Uh, what do you mean, purpose? Fuck you. This is a purpose, why is that? No. This is what I'm we call cool. generally underwritten. <laughs> yeah. Also, this is a little bit whip. Yes. Ah, that looks familiar. There she's turned into something from another game. Ha ha ha, everyone jokes about on Twitter. Jokes about oh, you're a gnarly looking fella, Primus. There you go, our, uh, our portal opens. Looks different than the one the jailer opened, which is weird. Yeah, it looks, uh, well, it looks cool. less angular and stuff. So there's that. Mm. Uh, we have the run for the portal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we actually enter the... Enter the for a second, I thought that was Ilden. <laughs> <laughs> and like, in the first second, I was like, ah, what? Yeah, so uh, away we go. That's, of course, what the extra little teleporty thingy uh, that's been in Orbos all this time is, uh, you know, is uh, yeah. actually for. It's time for fucking nonsense. All right, so some moss won't appear. They throw a big ball. Oh no, can we make it through the portal in time before the ball hits it? Hello, Pelagos. Before the ball hits it for us. Yes, Pelagos is like the chosen oh, one. That hit, hit the same time, but made it out. Ah, so there we go. That closed the portal. How, why? Interesting. So not many of us make it through then. Yep. Nope. Deactivating the Forge of Afterlives. Oh, is that what this is? Yep. So there's the Forge oh. of Afterlives. That just... You know, makes afterlives. Yeah, so you know, no big deal. Just crafts an afterlife. So Anduin's turning this thing purple. Yeah, the Oracle. Yeah. Got the big man himself. Spiky now. Wearing a spiky helmet. Also, it is worth noting that that is not the jailer model in that. That's one more head of substituted because it's encrypted. Yeah. It's probably the Jailer in his, you know, Thanos armor. Yeah. Yeah. But it's encrypted, so they use this one instead. The Sepulchre's secrets will be mine. Time to turn into a circle. Time to turn into a ball and then get booped. Whee! <laughs> yep. Oh, Jin is there. Yay. So oh, Bane's there. And Bane. And Bane has a wee scratch. Here you go. He scratches his butt <laughs> because <laughs> that probably won't happen in the final one. So, oh yeah, there. Gosh. Now, here's the more big thing. So, there's this yeah. NPC here, the Oracle, right? And I've got a video about this coming out, like, Tuesday yeah. or Wednesday. Yeah. Um, so, 
Six voices in Discord. Without harmony, the anthem will be ended. I'm like, oh no, the anthem of creation. That's from that game by Bioware. <laughs> anthem. Anyway. Uh, but you know that whole thing of a song of creation, obviously, like, um, you know, Tolkien, like Arrow Luvatar and all that. Uh, right. Her dreams sing beneath the surface. Quiet now, but her voice shall awaken the others. Her voice? Oh, wow. wow, 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 wow. It's Heidel Lazaroth. It's Heiseroth. Who knows? It's uh, other female planet. So something going on here, but Mother. Mortis Lumen Ordos. Rhythm and structure. Vitae Umbra Tumult. Improvisation and possibility. And then this is where everybody looks at the uh, the cosmology chart and FF14 has a big laugh. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, it's got the kind of like rhythm and structure uh, kind of yeah. fucking mad shit as like it's it's uber danger shows it to you. And um, I hope everybody else calls them uber danger. A Maybe couple people go. do, yeah. Good. But, well, yeah. So yes. uh, I, I guess, I mean, it's going to be obvious, for but for people who don't know, Mortis, Lumen, Ordos, Death, Light, Order, Vitae, Umbra, Tumult, Life shadow and chaos yeah basically hmm. there is a zareth inst we can deduce i think that there is a zareth installation in the home plane the fundamental gloopy gloopy space wahoo whatever yeah. it is yeah. uh of each one of the fundamental forces there is a zareth installation created by the first ones so in the same way the titans i guess booped about the place making things and planets uh the first ones were kind of doing that sort of thing but at a very much more high up level, likely before the material plane even existed or something. Who knows? Whatever. It's stuff. It's in space. I remember questing in Westfall. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's how a lot of people are going to react to this. Look, it is what it is. They have said the next, well, they've very heavily, you know, one quick nudge, nudge, uh, that the next expansion is going to be taking us back to Azeroth for yeah. a more grounded story. Yeah. That's uh, one of the, one of the things is there's so many similarities between a lot of these stories that go real back into like, the creation myth and stuff like that because even i saw people uh, bring up or someone bring up uh star wars clone wars mortis a lot of this stuff is kind of it's difficult to talk about plagiarism it's the almost the same idea of what do they call them shit uh twin movies where you get mm. movies and it's basically two ideas at the same time a deep impact in armageddon yeah that comes across because someone's shopping a script around and then they get you know one one doesn't like the script but then works on their own so it's that kind of thing we just have that but that that's likely not the case here because there's no industry overlap it is just artists have the same inspirations a lot of the time and a lot of this stuff is based on as jared's been finding out because he's been doing a lot of deep research uh basically creation myth once you look deep enough into religious systems and stuff like that all comes back to similar ideas the similar ideas of you know vibration sound voice the anthem of creation, like you were saying. All of that stuff comes from the same sort of idea. Yeah. So it's like, it's just unfortunate that they're all coming to this roughly at similar times in terms of what they want to talk about, when and why. To the point where it looks like anyone who comes after is like, oh, you're just copying? You're like, yes, technically, but it's not like, you know, A is copying B's homework. It's more that A first or no yeah so a find the answers underneath like some sort of hidden shack in the depths of the earth and person a later find them is a yeah. little bit more how it feels a little bit uh that said it's very funny it's yeah. very very funny <laughs> anyway continue <laughs> Yeah, so uh, look, there's that going on. There's lots of lore to deduce from it. We do have a video uh, coming out on this. Um, so yeah, you know, there's the broker perspective, which has, you know, order, death, light, yep. shadow, life, disorder. So I guess, can we try to sort of bring these into the, you know, into the sides? So we have, right, for improvisation and possibility, we have life. We yeah, have the, yeah, the, the bottom three are uh, shadow. We have disorder. Those, yeah, and then the top three are the other side. Rhythm and structure. Yes, yeah, so or death, lumen, and uh, order. Yeah, whereas which is different to, of course, yeah, this conception. That one is uh, there. Are two triangles. There's a triangle like pointing downwards, and then triangle pointing upwards. Yeah, for them, which is very common in other sort of you know triangles for magic systems for the. The Yiddish stuff that Jared was looking at. Yeah. And also the the Uber Danger chart also is triangles. So it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so uh, look, we'll just have to see how all this evolves. You know, maybe they'll uh, rotate the chart again in 3D for the next expansion. We'll get a different read on it. We'll just have to see how it's, uh, you know, how it all is. It certainly is seeming more like the broker uh, perspective, though, is more aligned with the more fund. Basically, yeah. it seems like this is the fundamental truth of how the universe is created. Maybe this uh, one here is more like true to the experience of beings within the mortal plane. Well, actually, okay, if you think of it this way, um, if you think of it in the sense of the great cycles two halves, mm -hmm. the orders at the top, disorders at the bottom. It's weird saying order because it's, well, but it is literally order, even though Arcane's order, but it's ordered at the top. And Rhythm and structure. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's structure and improvisation. Yeah. So structure and improvisation are split in half, which I mean, you can see how that would be a move around or, you know, clash here. But if you look at our reality one where reality is in the center, then that is overlap of triangles. Yeah. So that's where oh, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. where rhythm and uh, well, where structure and position come together is reality, which is different to the other one where they're separate. Yeah, they're overlap neat. there. Yeah. Mm, yum. Yep. Uh, stop. We'll see how it all kicks out. Yes. I at least had fun writing a video on it, so mm. I can you know at least say that much. Well, my videos less than what Matt was talking about. It was more on like what does this mean for the first ones and the Titans. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, the Cosmic War has it already happened? Maybe. Moving on. Uh, we have the Heart of Eternity in Azeroth, because, of course, we've already been to the Heart of Azeroth. So how do you one-up it? You one-up it, one it with the Heart of Eternity. So um, that seems pretty big. Basically, this is the the thing, like, this is the, this is like the, you know, the, the oil pipeline that uh, fuels the whole Shadowlands. Mm. Right? So... Yeah, this punch card light machine where we face off against the Jailer is the ultimate showdown of not only Eternity's end, but the Shadowlands as a whole. It's called the Heart of Eternity. The hexagonal holes in the floor are seemingly where first one cipher blocks fly through, interpreting the instruction sets inscribed within to carry out all manner of things. We see a stream of Azerite flowing behind the Jailer in the first image above. Of course, there it is. Though the center uh, of this machinery... Uh, or sorry, through the center of the machinery, which has left many people wondering. Now, through data mining, we have found the files representing the scene, which features a hologram of Azeroth herself, signifying that the Jailer here is siphoning the very lifeblood of the planet. So very much meaning that death comes to the soul of your world is a very true thing. And also that that is, you know, that's not just Azerite-like stuff. That almost certainly is Azerite itself. And again, where is Azeroth? Great cycle, that planet is Azeroth, right? Mm. So clearly there's something very fundamental, uh, you know, going on here, right? Um, we got some cool effects. So there's some like, uh, that's the Azerite pillar top. Here's a globe of Azeroth. And by the way, they checked. There's no new continents or anything on it. So there's that. <laughs> um, a few more assets. Man, I, I, I think the Azerite effects are so cool. I think that Azerite pillar, very nice. So look, there you go, right? What do you think it means? Or do you think it is, is very much just that? Azeroth, in a way, is, you know, perhaps Azeroth and Argus are pretty fundamentally tied together. You know, maybe Argus dying breaks the machinery of death because it turns out Argus is like another part of this whole system because Argus is literally called Death Titan in the files. Mm. There's many different ways you could read this. I'm just spitballing, by the way. Yeah, so I'm trying to think. Argus was the first dead, dead Titan, right? Uh, dead, you mean? Yeah, dead, dead. As opposed to... It was the one Sargaris uh, destroyed as a world wasn't, soul. Wasn't a Titan manifested, though. You know what I mean? I, I'm kind of trying, trying to think. Argus never hatched. I suppose. Argus was always yeah. the Emerald Star of the World Soul. Mm. And I think that forming of Argus was just like a thing that happened in the raid, but Argus had never hatched. Because, of course, Argus the planet was still there. Yeah. Well, we don't know that hatching is the... Well, surely the hatching doesn't mm. matter because Azeroth is a part of this system, but she's still an egg. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, trying to think of why Argus would be the one to destroy the system and how the interconnection could be there. Because maybe, I suppose maybe just Azeroth being the remaining Titan. It's yeah, something. I don't know. It's it's they really really should hurry up and tell us what happened there because it's highly frustrating. Yeah, the mystery is not of, interesting. No, the mystery is not interesting. It's just a part of the puzzle. You know, the you know it is it is a smoking gun 
that not someone going like a check I was going rather then I was like what are you, 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 you this is going to be relevant this has to be relevant but until we know why, we have no idea. Yeah, Chekhov's gun but, still requires pacing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't really know what to think outside of, I think, I don't care too much to speculate about this because it's too upfront mm. and it could go anywhere. It could go in so many different ways that I feel like they'll play it largely straight. I th- I'd hope so. Yeah. I'd hope so because at this point, if they continue pulling different you know, different uh, rabbits out of the hat and go, no, it was this all along that you were looking for. I'm like, well, no, I, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been at this magic show for too long. I just want to know where all these rabbits coming from, please. Someone tell me. But Yeah, no, yeah. I, I think that's that's pretty much the situation. Yeah, it's we're hard to have any with. really strong thoughts. Outside of, I really wish this was set up better because even that shot's so, such a nice shot. It is. They could do so much better with it if they just... Like, even that punch card design is so interesting. But hopefully it just means it's a raid platform where we fall through the holes all the time. Wouldn't that be good? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, till then, though, we can entertain ourselves with ear holes. Mm-hmm. Yep, coming tier sets will uh, feature ear slash horn holes for races that otherwise, uh, you know, just have the stuff just, like, clipping through and looking horrible. So they're actually working on keeping out clipping. Mm-hmm. That's big. This is a really nice bit of attention to detail. That's yeah. generally one of the things that's a real fucking struggle in MMOs because you got to make different versions of your armor than for like, every, I mean, sort of have to anyway. You have different versions for every race and this is just more work, but they're doing it yep. and it looks good. Doesn't this it? is fantastic. Um, yeah. There's not much else to say other than that's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, now also, here's the progenitor bot mount. Uh, some speculation, you know, is this the mythic mount? Where is it from? Whatever it is, I think it looks so cool. I love this like VTOL uh do they? No, do they rotate? They almost kind of look like they could be VTOL thrusters. Anyway, I think it's really awesome, so that's a cool-looking mount. Um, yeah, nice mount special. There's also the Progenitor Spider, which looks a bit different to the uh, Synthesis Forge thingy. Uh, oh, well, that's a creepy it's, way to move. Uh, oh, what are they called? The, oh, no idea. Protoss. Oh, Dragoon. Dragoon, yeah. yeah. Uh, jellyfish. I mean, hey, we've seen jellyfishes before, but I think that's a particularly cool one with like the little, uh, you know, your ball in the middle. Yeah. Uh, there's a few different colors it's of an it. Oralid. 